Well, Mike Pennington, <laughs> he knew us before we knew ourselves. He watched us grow out of diapers to where we at today. This is, this is our home place. This is what they used to call stumping ground. So we were raised here and, and we choose to stay here and, and, and grow old here. First met the Goodman family in 1978. Their dad was a short pup wood contractor. Uh, whenever I, I first met them, the, they had five kids. The youngest two were uh, two years old or whatever, but the family, as they progressed in age, as the five kids progressed in age, even the girls would be stacking short wood, and from there, the boys, would, as they got older, move up to running the chainsaw, still stacking wood, and then they progressed to the iron mule, uh, hauling wood on it. Our dad had started the business, our mom and dad, and they ran it till we got old enough. When I graduated high school in 92, me and my brother took over. I'm 50 years old and I've been in it all my life. It started out uh, as a family business. We were doing what they call short wood, puff wood, uh, where we were using chainsaws, cutting the trees down, cutting the trees in about five foot lengths, and then we, we would have to stack them, and we had a truck that would drive through the woods and pick them up. Then we graduated and was able to buy a iron mule, a forwarder, that had a hydraulic boom kind of like this on it. He it, We used it to go through the woods picking the wood up in, and from there up to where we are now. So we everything used to be done by hands, now everything is done by machines. <laughs> Mike Pennington, the guys we were working for, they helped us get started, you know, co-sign whatever they need to do. And then when we got to where we could get it on our own, we went from there. You, you got to want to do it. Um, and I think that's one of the biggest, biggest problems that nearly every company is facing today is trying to find somebody that's willing to work, want to work, have that, that, that drive to work. Um, most most of them now just want a job to get a check um, and and they don't want to do anything extra on the job and sometimes what we found out that if you if you try to do extra doors are open for you uh, you know they come in an interview you try to assess their work at worth ethic uh, what it may be what type of person they're going to be are they capable of learning uh, how to run large equipment first. Do they want to work outside? Uh, uh, that's a major thing. Do they even know what they're getting into? Do they want to, to work in the woods? They want to run the logging machine. You're going to have to stick with it. It's going to be rough days, but all that come with it. Just take the bad and make good out of it. That's what we had to do. We just stayed faithful to it. It's a lot of days. We wanted to stay at home, but we knew better days was ahead. Uh, it, you know, don't just go in and, and say, I'm just hired to do this and, and that's all I'm going to do for the day and, and go home. But you got to try to do a little extra to, to show that you appreciate your job and, and, and you know, and the, the employer will appreciate you.